What's up everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are JK Builders. If you're new to the channel and you love Lego, you should subscribe. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch and it's always appreciated. Today we're doing a review of an alternate build. It is the Not Monkey Kid, the City of Lanterns. So we won't be talking about this box, but it is an alternate build of this set. Now we already reviewed this set. Go ahead and check out that video up there if you haven't already. I'm sure you already have. <laughs> <laughs> this is an alternate build of this set that I found online. I'll be sure to post a link to where you can find the instructions um, down below. But yeah, it's hard to believe that this was turned into this building that we created, but we did. So we built this one. Uh, Jax was kind of sad about it, but I took it all apart and then we converted it into this building that we can now incorporate into our city. It is the gas station and Asian bistro. So yeah, we turned the Monkey Kid City of Lantern set into this gas station. Um, like I said, it's a modular building, it's a corner unit, and we will be able to put this in our city, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, the fact that that Monkey Kid set turned into this I think is absolutely amazing, but let's go ahead and check out um, some of the closer details. Alright, so here it is, the gas station. Of course, it does come with all of the Monkey Kid minifigures, some of which we did have to take apart, like the robots. I know Jackson was sad about that. Um, part of the backpack from Pixie we had to take apart. Uh, but, you know, we've still incorporated a couple of the minifigures into the set that were left over. Um, but looking at it, just some really cool uh, details and fascinating building techniques, I think, is what kind of drew me to the set, as well as the color. I really like the color um, and the contrast between the buildings. Um, down below, of course, you have the gas station. You have a couple gas pumps right there. Um, over here, you just have all kinds of different, um, like, wheels and supplies, things that you would see at a gas station. Over here, you have, like, oil containers, a garbage can, maybe some uh, gas containers, different things that you would need to, like, fix a car or to uh, maintain a car that you'd find at a gas station. Uh, of course, you have this little overhead thing that I thought was really, really cool that they were able to use these roller coaster pieces um, you have one on the bottom and then one flipped upside down on top and you pin them together and that kind of makes the rim of the building here which i thought was cool uh, of course up here it says gas in lego which i thought was nice with the different colors here on the side um, you have um, has the stickers and signs up above for advertising for different things like lego and the asian bistro and the panda store uh, different things like that you got a cool little plant right there some lanterns up above um, again, I just really like the contrast and colors. You got the bright yellow here with the, the brown kind of and nougat and different colors there and orange. Um, and then you have the uh, top of the building that has the railing that goes around and the smokestack coming out the top. You have this cool little sign that we did see in the Monkey Kid set for the Asian Bistro. Um, cool details coming around the building, nice techniques that they use for that. Some plants growing there in the window. Of course, this side will be up against a building, but you do have the little rooftop terrace thing going on there. Over here, you have some really cool staircases. So you have a normal staircase here, but then you have this one that was made out of kind of these Technic bits um, that lead up to this door to get to the top floor. Um, kind of cool how they use these, uh, you know, the pieces that were in the set. Um, they fully use them to their advantage to incorporate this, uh, this uh, little staircase and rail going up to the top. Um, nice windows there going down the front. Um, it was a little bit janky. It's not It's not a perfect set. Um, there's a couple things that are going to be a problem, I think, when we get into our city. Um, number one, it is a corner building. So this, this will be against a road right here. Uh, but the problem I have is that <laughs> you're going to pull into the gas station, and this is going to be another building right here. So unless you're going to put this on an island with nothing next to it, you're going to have another building right here. Um, so we're gonna have to figure something out. I'm thinking maybe making the road come out like this so the car would just turn the corner and come out. Um, but I don't think it really makes sense to have that go straight across. So that's gonna be a problem that we're gonna have to figure out. Uh, but I don't think it's something that's not gonna be able to be resolved. I think we'll be able to figure it out. And then so, some of the levels, how they go together, was a little bit janky, a little bit hard to put into place, um, but uh, all in all, I think it looks great, and it was a fun build. Uh, these uh, alternate builds are always kind of a pain. <laughs> I built the Sanctum Sanctorum after this one, and the Sanctum was just a breeze. It was just so much more enjoyable <laughs> than this thing was. Like Just the number of pieces that you have to root, root through in order to find the pieces you're looking for, and you have to spend a lot more time um, organizing your pieces and you know setting them apart by color or shape or wh however, you, however you organize your pieces before you build. Uh, it just takes a lot more time um, in order to get it right so that this thing doesn't just take you months to build. But anyway, let's pull it apart and check out the different levels and the details on the inside. 
So on the inside of the building, of course, you have two doors that lead to the inside. You have this one right here, and then you have this one on the side. Um, on the inside, it's got lots of stuff that you see in a gas station. You have a counter right there where you check out, a little cashier stand, um, or a register, I should say. Uh, behind the desk, you have like a, a fountain for drinks, and then a couple of hot dogs on the cooker. <laughs> you have a little refrigerator unit over there with some drinks on the inside. Um, lots of like oil and things that you would buy for a car. Um, on top of there, you have more like snacks. You got a couple of microphones for sale, maybe a donut. And then you have like a wrench and some artwork on the walls. Just lots of cool little details, some tiling on the floor. Um, but yeah, lots of things that you'd see on the inside of a gas station are on the inside of here, which is cool that you had all of those parts and pieces from that Monkey Kid set that you could turn it into something that looked so close to a gas station. Now, one of the funny things about this set as well is that um, we had already built the Monkey Kid set, so we put all the stickers on, which there was a lot of stickers. Um, some of them I did end up peeling off, which I was kind of bummed out about, but some of them we were able to leave on, like the scales of those green pieces were the scales of the dragon on the Lego store. And then on the next level of the building, we have the Asian Bistro, or cafe. Of course, to get there, you go up these stairs and you go in the side door right here, which opens. Um, on the inside, again, you have some cool little details. You got a couple of tables, um, some nice artwork on the walls. Again, you could incorporate those exact same stickers because there was an Asian restaurant in the Monkey Kid set. Another picture right there. You got some greenery on the wall. Over here, you have kind of the counter um, where you would order your food, as well as the kitchen where they cook the food. And then nice little thing there in the window, some more greenery up above. Uh, but really cool. Again, some stickers that I left on with the scales there. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really, really nice that they were able to use so many of those parts and pieces from the Monkey Kid set to make a cool little Asian cafe. I think it looks really, really nice. And then the very top floor is just a small little area right here, which you take this unique little staircase up to this door. Um, up here, you just have more dining area. So nice large table there. You got like some artwork and some different things on the wall there. And then you have the door that goes out to the back patio where you can stand and overlook the city. Um, but yeah, nice little window as well. Of course, there's three seats around the large table. Um, just some additional seating for the restaurant. And then we put the top on like so. And I really like that they use those uh, little railing pieces to go around the top. It gives it some nice little, little touch. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice tall building. It's skinny. Um, but it looks good, lots of color and detail, and I really like the way that it turned out. Now, one of the things that I will say is a downside of a lot of these alternate builds is going to be that you don't always use all the pieces. So there were a lot of extra pieces left over, not quite as many as we've seen with other alternate builds, but there was this entire bag. But Jackson is a big fan of that because he's able to use those extra parts to kind of make his own creations. Here you can see he's made a little Pigsy uh, restaurant. Jackson, you want to tell us about this? So, um, uh, this is a sort of Monkey Kid's house, and with the uh, staff here, with the in the bed and the bat in the sink, and then this is where Pigsy knows where to deliver the food when, when someone orders. And then here's a little seating area with a tree and a lantern next to it, and this is where you order your food. And um, I have Pigsy's backpack hung up right here with, and then the scooter, since we took apart one part, um, I decided to use that for a hat rack. And then this poison spider juice. Of course. And then um, there's a drive through right here where Monkey Kid stands at. Mm -hmm. And uh, mini cars can drive up and get food. I'm gonna need to make this a lot taller. And then, um, oh, it has the oven right here too. Oh, so yeah. from the front, you can't really see it, but uh, here's, this is the fire. Mm -hmm. And then um, the back door, I used the rake as the handle. Cool, yeah, so that is one of the benefits of having so many pieces left over, is if you got a creative kid like Jackson, you can take them and build your own little set and creation there. That's a great thing about Lego, of course. You can always build whatever you want. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of pieces left over, but of course you can put those to good use, um, like Jackson does. All right, so the alternate build of the City of Lanterns Monkey Kid set, the gas station. Um, Jackson, what are some things that you liked about this one? Well, uh, I really like all the detail. I like how um, you use a lot of the pieces that like 
you see on every building, like, um, like the tracks as, um, the outer rim of the building. Yeah, yeah, the outer rim of the building. And, uh, I really like, um, the, the different, uh, styles, like the staircase. Mm hmm. Like the different styles of build that you don't see in a lot of sets. Yeah, that's one of the things that really drew me towards building this one was just how unique it is overall. Uh, the different colors that are incorporated. I really liked how they did this track around the outside. Now, of course, we do already have a gas station in our city with the corner garage. Every city has more than one gas station, though. So I figured we could have one at one end, one at the other. Still haven't decided where we're going to put this. Again, like I mentioned, I really don't like how they did this as a drive through because there's going to be another building right here. Uh, we're going to have to change this up a little bit. Um, but that's okay, and I think it uh, once we find a place for it and get it situated, it's going to look really good in the city, and it's going to be something unique that will kind of stand out. Um, so, of course, the Monkey Kid set retails for $149, um, which makes this one of the least expensive modulars that we have put in our city um, by quite a bit, you know. I guess the uh, the bookshop was, what, $189, and now it's raised its price, like, two. Oh nine or something like that um, but yeah for 150 bucks I think it's well worth it if you're looking for a very unique and different look for your city and you want to add something like this um, I think it's worth it it's 150 dollars for for a nice modular building so um, if you're looking for something to add I, I would recommend it like I said there are a few downsides but overall I think it's gonna look good and I uh, I think it's gonna be a nice addition to the city of course, we'll be doing an update of our LEGO City here in the coming days, um, so stay tuned for that. We're going to add this in. We added in the Sanctum Sanctorum already. We've also moved some things around, made some improvements, um, so stay tuned for that. Of course, we got the BrickLink Designer Program sets coming here in the next few weeks. Uh, we're going to be getting the bowling alley, uh, the LEGO store, the Venetian houses, so we are definitely going to have to expand our city because we are running out of room, but we will keep you updated on the progress that we make over time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to see all of those future updates. All right, so there it is. The alternate build of the Monkey Kid City of Lantern set, the gas station, and Asian Bistro, as well as Jackson's cool little mock he made out of the spare parts. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on building.